Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Today's video, how to make a Rainbow Glitz art yarn bat. This is a picture of the bat with all of its glitter and all the colors. The materials that you need are two tenths of an ounce of each of the different colors of Merino. You need Angora and Angelina. You take your drum carter and you take the first two tenths of an ounce of your black Merino and you load it on your drum carter first. It's okay if there's still gaps in between the black merino and you can see through to the drum carding fiber, the drum carding teeth. You load it on as evenly as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take two tenths of an ounce of the blue merino and you're going to load that onto the drum carter. If you notice, we're loading from the top. You don't have to load from the top. We have a fine tooth drum carter and we enjoy loading our finer fibers from the top. We just loaded on the Angelina. Now we're going to load on some Angora. When you're loading on your Angelina and you're loading on your Angora, you want to separate it into a few different sections and put it in between each of the colors. We're loading on our purple next. The two tenths of an ounce purple merino is followed by just a slight pinch of the Angelina. That's followed again by our German Angora, just a little handful. After that, it's time for red. The red merino is loaded on next. When you're watching this video, you'll notice that the Angora sometimes gets stuck where you don't want it to. Next, more Angelina. We load it on and it's followed by Angora. At this point there's only three colors left. Orange, yellow, and green. What you've noticed is the pattern after each color. It's followed by a pinch of Angelina and then a pinch of white German Angora. These fibers are being loaded on to the Brother Fine Tooth Drum Carter and we are not using any sort of slicker brush. Just two colors left, the yellow and the green. You'll notice there's some seconds in some of the Angora, but when it goes through, the seconds are brushed away. If you want, you can pick out the seconds my drum carter takes them out, most of them. If you notice any plant material, feel free to pick that out as well. We're almost done loading the yellow on and it's going to be time for one of the last two pinches of Angelina. A little bit of Angora and if you notice, we put more Angora on in the beginning by the blue, the purple, and the red than we did later on on the drum carter. Green is the last color to be loaded on, and you don't have to do it in this order. You can do it in any order that you'd prefer. The last bit of Angelina, whatever is left, gets put on the drum carter, and as well, if there's any Angora left, that would get put on too. Remove the bat carefully from your drum carter. And since we layered it on, your bat should look something like this. Layered colors. Black on the bottom, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green. After you remove your bat, do some general drum carding care. Clean off as much as you can. This makes it easier for the next time when you use your drum carter. 
you don't have to clean it off before use. After you're done cleaning off your drum corner, what you can find is this is the finished bat. Feel free to post below in the comments.